Hey folks, it's Chris Huntingboard here, otherwise known as the Tattooed CRM Guy. Today we're going to be talking trial environments. Now, believe it or not, I often get asked about creating trials, how do trials work, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, you know what, what I'll do is I'll record a video because I've done loads of manuals and screenshots and uh, emails and all sorts of things. So I figured, you know what, let me do this video. I'll show you guys how I take out trials. Now, the first thing to remember is that there is a very strong chance you currently have an Office 365 tenant. Okay, so please understand that you can attach trials that are essentially environments for Power Platform, like Common Data Service environments, to an existing tenant in Office. Understand something, tenant is essentially the, think of it as like the holder for multiple environments, right? So the tenant is your Office 365 layer, okay? Your environments, you can have multiple environments inside one tenant. Back in them, we used to call uh, environments instances, okay? These are environments. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that when you are going to take out a demo trial, there are a number of ways to do this. I'm going to show you my way. Now, the reason I don't use demos.microsoft.com is because you only get one user. I'm going to show you a way to get 25 users, okay, per tenant. I'm going to show you how to add E5. I'm going to show you how to extend those. So first things first, this is the golden rule. Right click, open your browser, incognito. Okay, do not open an existing browser. If you have existing incognito browser, browser windows, close them. I don't want to see anything on your desktop. Close everything. Open a brand spanking new um, window incognito. Second thing you're going to do, trials.dynamics.com. Fantastic. So this is where gonna get, it's going to get you right now. The reason I use this is because a lot of the time when I'm building stuff, I might take out a naked common data service environment or instance. I also often use Dynamics in the demonstrations, uh, the demo builds that I do. First thing I do is scroll down. Most people stick their information in there. Do not do that. Click on sign up here. Don't click anything else. Just wait because your natural reaction is to click there. Don't click that. Click no. Continue signing up. Right, the next window you're going to get to is where you're going to basically put in your core information. So I use my real details here. No, I'm not bothered about having my information on the internet. There we go. Right, next. This is where you're going to create your actual, I would say, your tenant's ID or your tenant name. So it's going to be Chris. And we're going to try. Now, what it does is you, this is unique, right? So we're going to say, um, we're going to say Chris at, yeah, let's go at the bar version two. There you are. Cool. That's available, right? If it's not available, what you'll do is you'll see something like that. Okay. Second thing I'm going to do is make up a password. Okay, very straightforward. Oops. Do that all the time. Great, fantastic. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Create my account. Sit back, get some tea. No, don't. That was really quick. Right, next thing, you got to stick in your actual phone number. You need to use your actual mobile phone number. Cool. So text me. Now, let me tell you guys something. Do not do this too many times. You will get yourself locked in trial jail. It's happened to me loads and loads of times. If you create too many trials, they actually lock you out. Right. So five, nine, seven, one, two, four. Fabness. Okay. Now what this is going to do is it's going to start setting up your trial. Now, this is where you need to get a bit smarter. Okay. Very important. This will send an email to the address that you used in the initial setup. So I used my Microsoft address. That's fine with me. I'll get an email confirming the fact that this is actually being set up. This is very key. You're not attaching this to another tenant. Coolness. Now, what's awesome about having my own tenant is I can manage all of my own security. I can add whatever I'd like. Now, because I want to use all the Dynamics things, don't worry, SharePointers. Don't worry, Azure people. This is only for one environment. You can create as, you can create 10 environments per tenant. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is going to go set up. So, I can have the benefit of using these a little later. You can change your currency. This is just the initial setup, folks. Do not worry. Do not panic. 
what will happen now is that this will create a brand spanking new environment inside your tenant. You get the default environment, which you should not be building in. You then get your separate environments that are kind of allocated to various things. So you might have dev, QA, um, other sandbox type environments. You might have a production environment. This will get created directly in there. So when you go to admin.powerplatform.com, you'll be able to see this available to you. Amazing. Right. So there we go. We're all set up and happy. So these are the apps that have been created for this specific environment. Okay. Or well, specific tenants. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to portal.office.com. Okay. Now, very important. This is my sort of uh, office periodic table. These are the, these are the kind of apps that I've got, the, um, the applications that I've got available to me. Right. I'm going to go to admin. This is your Office 365 Admin Center. Okay, I turn this off because I'm so not super used to some of the things in here. You can leave it on if you're comfortable. Seriously. Greatness. Okay, cool. Get rid of all these notifications. Right, next thing. When you go to your users, okay, what you're going to see is when I open up my user, when I take a look at my license, this is the license that's been assigned to me. Look at all this goodness over here that I get with that Dynamics 365 license that I just added. Pretty awesome, right? Now, there's a lot missing here. I don't have Office, all right? I don't actually have a core Power Apps license. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm missing. So what I'm going to do is just close that up. I'm going to go to Billing, Purchase Services. It does take a second to load up. Right, I'm going to go Control F. I'm going to search E5. Right, look at that bad boy over there. Office 365 E5. Mm, yes, please. Start free trial. Right, remember the same process as, as before. Marvelous. So this will send me an SMS to my mobile device. Epic. Start trial. Now, back in NAM, you used to have to put credit card details in here. You don't have to do that anymore. Coolness. Okay, so now what's happened is that I've actually got Office E5 in my tenants. Now, if you want to add anything else, you're going to go through the same process, right? So simply, if you want to do anything else, if you want to add any other bits and pieces, simply go to Purchase Services, Look for the one that you want, and you'll be A for away. There you go. So if there's any other, anything else you want to add. Now, it is so important that you add this before you extend. If you try and add Office after you extend, it will not be extended with the tenant. You need to add everything first before you extend this trial. Okay. Hope I'm being super clear about that. Right. So there's tons of other stuff you can add. I'm not going to do that because these are the two core things. I'm going to go to active users. I'm going to check out my user over there. Let's go to product licenses and you'll see that Office 365 is available to me there, E5. Now, look at all the goodness you get with that. Oh, ho, ho. hello, nurse. All right. Super amazing. Power BI Pro. Yes, please. I'll take that. Power Apps Office 365. I'll take that as well. Fantastic. So you can see I've got a ton of goodness in here, right? Let's save that. Let's close it up over there. Epic. Now, if you want to add another user, it's super easy for me to do. So we're going to add in these wells, my guinea pig. There we go. Password. I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to put in there. I'll just stick something in. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Rolls. I wouldn't normally give Will anything massively secure, but we just do this anyway. <laughs> Global admin, not a sausage. Right, so start at the bottom. There we go. Next one. Kapow. So that's how you add new users. Really easy. And you got 25 of these, right? So you can add as many as you'd like. I'm not going to send any passwords right now. Let's just rate Office because everything's amazing. And you basically got the opportunity to add another 25 of these users, right? Now, that's all good and well. 
very important. What I normally do is once I've done that, I'll close this up. Now, normally I'll log out, right, and kind of log back in, and I'll have the ability to, yeah, I'll have the ability to configure Outlook. Normally, what you need to do is just log into Outlook. Um, same thing with the rest of the application. So you'll start seeing them all pop up over here. There we are. Pretty amazing, right? Now, there's one other thing I want to show you before I move on to the next bit. Is this. You can extend the environments directly from that within the admin center. So you've got a couple of options. One of the options that I use is when you go to subscriptions, so into your office admin um, portal, once again, you can see you've got your subscription over there. You've got extend trial. Okay, now this is important. When you extend the trial from here, okay, it will ask you for credit card details. So you will need to verify the fact that you are a real human being and you will need to add a new credit card. Now, that's fine because what it'll do is, I think this extends um, by an extra, oh, there we go, it extends by an extra 30 days. I don't even bother with this. I've got another way of doing it, which I'll explain to you shortly. But for me, I don't want to stick credit card details in here. You can do it if you want. I don't bother with this. Right. So I hope that's cleared up how to create a trial. Number one. Number two, how to add some users. Very, very important. When you extend the trial, which I will explain to you in the next two minutes, you must have added all your subscriptions first. One thing I do want to do is I just want to go and take a look at something, make.powerapps.com. If I go to make.powerapps.com, this is my place that I live. It's my little, my little playground. It's very important to understand that you remember that environment I created. Here is my default environment. I do not build in the default. Right, here's my one that I just created. There's my Microsoft environment. Remember those apps I added? There we go. There's all my apps there. If I go to admin.powerplatform.com, you'll be able to see my environments associated directly in there. Environments. There you go, right? You can see I've got a production environment over there. Now, if I want to extend this, okay, if I want to extend this environment, there is a way to extend this environment to a year or for a year, right? What you need to do, I'm going to do this in Notepad. What you need to do is you need to send an email to this address, D Y N O L D E M at microsoft.com okay and you need to request extending the demo environment now i need to be very clear about this do not try and extend the environment you need to extend the tenant so when you talk to them you need to ask them you need to say hi there please could you extend Okay, now use obviously your tenant name over there. I'm using my own. Please could you extend the bar v2 dot, at, um, at Marcus, sorry, dot on Microsoft.com. Thank you kindly. Remember, show manage, show support, they're doing you a favor. Now, I will tell you, do not take the piss. All right. This is not just to extend a million and one different environments. Remember they take telemetry on this, so it's very key. This is for the demons, this is for the benefit of demonstrations. Okay. That's how you extend to a year and more. Now, very important to understand, this is not for you to create a thousand and one different environments. If they catch you doing that, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be very popular. Right? So that's how I extend, I extend my environments to a year. The next thing that I do is if I want to create a new environment, sorry, this is how you extend your tenant. Everything under the tenant gets extended. So when you go to, when you go to portal.office, Com. And you go to admin, and you pop that up, and you go to subscriptions. You will see once they have confirmed that your tenant has been extended, that date will change, and that date will change. Your tenant gets extended, not just your environments and your dynamics environments. To create a brand spanking new environment, I'll create a new video a little bit later, but this is for you to understand that you can extend your tenant. Remember, tenant environments live in tenants. Anyway, 
Thank you guys very much. I hope that's helped you out. I know a lot of people think they know how to create trials. That's why I do it. I've been doing it for years and it's worked very well for me. So anyway, rock and roll. Hope you all have an excellent morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you are. And hopefully we'll chat soon. Ciao.